Hello friends, welcome to SourceCAD tutorial and in this tutorial I will explain explode offset tools. So let us start with the explode tool. Explode as the name suggests will break objects which are joined together into separate constituents. For example in this case this rectangle has been made with a polyline four polylines which are joined together so select explode click on the object and hit enter and now you can see that this rectangle has been broken into four individual line segments similarly this open geometry has been made with polylines you can do so the same thing which you have done here using the explode tool so select the geometry click on explode and here it is all the segments are broken into separate constituents. Now our next tool is offset. Let's look at offset now. For example here in this case you have this rectangle and you want to make another rectangle inside this but at a certain distance. For that I will select offset. And now I will specify a offset distance as the command from says I need to specify offset distance. So I will specify an offset distance of 1 unit and press enter. Now select your object and the place where you want to place this offset. If you click anywhere inside this rectangle the offset will be made inside. If you click outside the offset will be made outside this rectangle. So right now I will click outside and here it is. If you click inside you will be able to make a rectangle inside. And similarly you can make as many offset as you want okay now suppose we have a situation in which we have this geometry something like this now in this case you'll see that this has been made with a polyline with a line here and arc here. Now if we try to offset this, offset, select an offset distance of one unit and offset it. So you'll find that it will make the offset and it will keep the geometry as well like this. It will maintain the geometry in this way. So you can offset these type of geometries as well using the offset tool. Now let's go to offset again. If you want to make a random offset in which you don't need to specify the distance, click on offset and now select through and click on the object and the object will move along with your cursor. Now wherever you click, your object will be made. Now again select the offset tool. If you want to erase the initial object, the source object, so click on erase and in this command prompt select yes erase source object yes now i'll go ahead and select through i'll select this as my initial object i'll make the offset and you can see that my initial object has been deleted and the new one is created okay so i think these options are quite clear to you now the last option in offset tool is layer for that I'll go to a new layer which I have already created here that is layer 1. Now select this offset tool and click on layer. Now if you want to place your new offset on a different layer you can select either of the options. Now for example in this case my current layer is layer 1 and I want to place new offset on layer 1. For that I'll select current. So click on current and now make an offset. So select this object and the new object will be placed on the current layer. Since we have selected the erase in our previous option, the initial object is erased. So let's go to offset, erase and select no here. Now again go to layer and select the source. Once you select source, the offset will maintain the layer of its source object that is in this case if I'll make the offset the offset will be on the layer 1 so select through and 
there it is so thank you for watching have a nice day